Good morning, or should I say, good afternoon or good evening, with whatever time that you're listening to this. This podcast is Rejoice in Sea with Ty and Betsy Tice. And the podcast today is Betsy's mom needs a healing. Betsy? The Bible reading comes from Luke 10, 13 through 17. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. He who hears you hears me. He who rejects you rejects me. And he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Today's Bible reading tells the story of a woman who was cured by Jesus of a back condition, which caused her to be bent over. In this case, the word says that she had a spirit of infirmity. Jesus said, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmities. And he laid his hand on her. Although the situation had been going on for 18 years at the words and the touch of Jesus her back straightened up immediately and she glorified God. Today's story my mom had been suffering greatly from rheumatoid arthritis in her hands it was a very painful condition and her fingers were badly swollen and gnarled Instead of making the sign of the cross on her forehead with oil, as was his custom, Pastor Ty anointed both of her hands, covering them completely with oil. Miraculously, the fingers straightened up immediately, and everyone glorified God for the wonderful healing he had graciously granted. Surely our God is a God of great mercy and compassion. Here's a verse to ponder today. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Today's prayer comes from Psalm 19:14 and Acts 11:21. Dear Lord Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, so that it might be said of me as it was of them, and the hand of the Lord was with them and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. Dear brother and sister, right now I want to ask each and every one of you, do you have a spirit of infirmity? Is something wrong and the devil's been keeping you down? I declare to you, as Jesus said, be loosed of that spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus and walk upright, or do that which you couldn't do before, and glorify your God in heaven, for he is no respecter of person for what he did for this woman 2,000 years ago, he'll do for you today. Quit letting Satan keep you down when Jesus, our Lord and Savior, wants to lift you up. Have a great, great day in Jesus, and walk in his wellness, and walk in his wholeness. God bless you. The God of miracles is here, but Jesus set people free the God of me
Set 